Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's Juan Soli here with A Squad Gaming, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in this evening, guys. This is a little bit of a late upload for me, but this is just something that's been on my mind since I found out that this is legit. This is actually happening, and it really pissed me off. Um, and it's just something that Infinity Ward did, and we're going to get into it. But first off, make sure to drop a like on the video, guys. It really helps me out. It only takes a second. I would really, really appreciate it. Also, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for more awesome content. But uh, let's just jump right into it. So basically what we're talking about is the salvage, uh, unlimited salvage key glitch that came out with the 12 days of Christmas. So on the second day of like the rewards, we got like a couple hundred salvage and some keys. And there was a glitch in the system that made it so you could basically open that over and over again and get like basically an unlimited amount of keys and unlimited amount of salvage. So what a lot of people did is they exploited that and you could open supply drop after supply drop after supply drop and basically almost unlock everything in the game depending on how lucky you were. And then you could earn the salvage bonus and then all those, the salvage that you got from reopening the Christmas bonus, you could build up um, salvage and unlock all of the stuff that you can actually unlock via salvage and then there was some weapons in there that you had to unlock via supply drops, calling cards and camos and whatnot. But anyway... All this content that's in the game that people basically have an unlimited amount of supply drops that they can open, an unlimited amount of salvage to unlock all this stuff, and basically Infinity Ward patched it, and then they did state that they were going to drop the hammer on the people that exploited the glitch. So everybody was thinking, oh, they're going to permanently ban these people, they're going to reset their stats, they're going to reset them all the way back to level 1, yada, yada, yada. No. No. So basically, this is kind of really what really pisses me off as a, as a Call of Duty player that does not cheat, does not exploit glitches, stuff like that. I'm just one of the hardcore fans that grinds out the game the way it's meant to be, you know, played. And uh, I kind of feel as if I got cheated because all that these players got that exploited this glitch, they got banned for 48 hours, and then they got all of the salvage and all of their keys taken away. So all of the content that they unlocked by using the glitch, all the weapons, all the camos, everything that they unlocked by using the glitch, they got to keep. They didn't. Infinity War did not reset them. So I don't know as of, as of this point if they're going to or not. But as of right now, all the people that exploited the glitch, they got banned for 48 hours. And then they got all their salvage and keys taken away. But all the content they unlocked by using the glitch, they get to keep. Which, in my opinion, that is an absolute smack in the face to all the legit players out there that did not exploit the glitch. Basically, we don't have anything, you know, other than what we've, you know, we grinded out salvage and stuff like that to get it. And uh, all these people that did the glitch literally didn't have to do anything. They just did the glitch over and over and over again and opened up a bunch of supply drops and got a bunch of content. And they didn't get it taken away. So that Infinity Ward, that's... That's fucked up, honestly. That's that's an absolute slap in the face to all the people that didn't cheat. But uh, that's just a little rant, guys. I just kind of wanted to fill you guys in on the information as we got it right now. This might change. I'm not sure if uh, Infinity Ward will uh, go a little further with these bans or whatnot. But honestly, I don't think they will. I don't think they're going to permanently ban anybody because they're not going to be able to sacrifice those players for the microtransactions and all the future DLC. Because they're, they need those players. They need more money. Activision needs more of that money. The profit, the shareholders, they need more money. As if Black Ops 3 making a billion dollars isn't enough. They want more. So I understand it's a business, but at some point, when are you going to start thinking about the consumer? You know, the Call of Duty fan, the general Call of Duty fan. When are you going to start thinking about us again? So, honestly, they're probably not going to ban anybody. They're not going to permanently ban anybody. They're not going to take away all their stuff, because that's going to make people want to stop playing the game. So basically, they cheated... They get a slap on the wrist and they get away with it. So, that's fucked up. But anyway, guys, that's all for this video. If you liked it, make sure to drop a like. Share your comments down below on how you guys feel about this whole screwed up situation. It's just screwed up. But uh, also, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for more awesome Modern Warfare Remastered Infinite Warfare. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands and other games on this channel. Shooters. But uh, that's pretty much all for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.